Now on WVTM 13 News at 10. That they'll be saying, you know what, I'm going to stay in there for two or three, four or five more years and help us get through uh, the recovery part of this crisis. A troubling sign for schools in Alabama. More than half of new teachers stay just three years before leaving the profession. Good evening. I'm Guy Rawlings and I'm Sherry Falk. That data from the Commission on the Evaluation of Services. Of course, this is not what school districts want to hear when many are already dealing with a shortage. Here's a look at the numbers. First, let's look at it on a national scale. Yeah, 44% of teachers in the U.S. leave after just three years. Here in Alabama, that rate is even higher. Having to replace these first time teachers can also be costly. It's estimated to cost the districts anywhere between nine and $40,000 per hire. In the last decade, more than 16,000 teachers left the profession. The commission says it costs Alabama between 145 to $652 million. Fewer than 20 districts in the state have a first time teacher retention rate above 60%. Mountain Brook, Trustville, Cherokee County, Jasper and Etowah County are the only schools in our area to reach that mark. So listen to this. If the rate of new teacher retention reached 60%, public schools would would have added some 1500 teachers. It would save districts more than 13 million dollars over a 10 year period. So as you can see, not only is hiring new teachers important, but keeping them as well. Uh, with more teachers looking for work elsewhere, school districts are having to step up their game to make the job more appealing. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough explains why it's a multi-layered approach. Leaders with Birmingham City Schools say they're on a mission to attract the best and brightest teachers. We've been offering bonuses for quite some time now. We've uh, we started off by offering a few years ago a $5,000 bonus. To but the school district is now seeking board approval to increase bonus pay for what it calls critical needs teachers. These are teachers in a variety of subjects like math, science and foreign language. We are now offering $7,500 to those teachers and with our special education teachers, we are offering a bonus of $10,000, a signing bonus, because we know this is a very competitive market. Alabama as a whole is struggling to retain first time teachers beyond their first three years on the job, according to a new report. Not exactly a promising sign for the future of education in our state. When I first started, you know, 32 years ago, it was hard to get a job. I waited five years to get a job in Jefferson County. You know, now people aren't staying more than three years. There's definitely something wrong. I reached out to State Superintendent Dr. Eric Mackey on Tuesday afternoon to talk about the problem of retaining teachers. He wasn't available for an interview, but told me back in March the state is doing everything it can to recruit teachers. To maybe reimagine some of the rules around teaching to try to, to bring in more non-traditional people. Uh, we've got to convince more people who are 17, 18, 19 years old who are either going into college or, or midway through college that they need to become teachers. Some argue it's going to take more than just money to fix the problem. I think there's a lack of support from administration. I think student discipline is a huge issue. I think there's an overwhelming amount of paperwork that's put on teachers and they keep adding more to that load without taking anything away. There isn't necessarily a quick fix for the problem, but educators say it can be fixed over time. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13. State lawmakers are trying to draw more people to teaching. This year, they approved raises for all teachers. The more experience, the more you get paid. And it starts with a 4% raise for everyone with less than nine years experience. 